Biden has a plan now to tackle inflation, and he actually wrote it uh, in an op-ed for the Wall Street Journal. So the good news is Biden has a plan to tackle it. The bad news is the plan itself. It's a joke. So essentially, it has three prongs to it. The first is to let the Federal Reserve to do their job. The second is to lower cost on essentials. And the third is to reduce the budget deficit, right? On the surface, it appears to be a workable plan. But then you've got to think who put it together. Biden, right? So the devil always in the details. When you yeah. look through you realize how consistent it is. I mean, it's not a plan at all. All it involves when you scratch beneath the surface is printing more and more money, spending more and more money. He talks about lowering the cost on essentials, which, again, a plan to lower inflation is to lower inflation. Sounds great until you listen to it. He wants to lower the cost on essentials by building more infrastructure. He wants to lower cost on essentials by passing clean uh, energy tax credits. He wants to lower the cost of elder day in and child daycare. All of these things are just massive spending packages that are being dressed up as a, a, as a plan to lower inflation. And you have to start asking yourself why. Right. Why are they doing this? And I think what's becoming more and more apparent with this administration, Biden's a political animal. Everything he's doing is failing. Right. His economic policies are not passing the basic reality check. So I think mm -hmm. this is a move now. It's desperation. Let's try and get enough money into enough people's hands to buy enough votes to get a second term. But what everyone's ignoring is he is digging us now into a hole that's going to be very very difficult to pull ourselves out with uh, out of there is no plan there is no plan it's more of the same nonsense right. and as long as they're here inflation is is here to stay